Hello. Um, excuse the 3D printer in the background, but I will explain why it's going soon, um, because it's printing the next part of this project, and I wanted to actually make a video that's actually going to be published, because I've made several videos, but all of them have been terrible. Um, and even though I don't really have quality standards, as you can probably tell, um, well, I don't have high, what I'm trying to say is I don't have high quality standards, but I do still have some sort of quality standard for what, um, I upload. So anyways, um, this is a, um, what is often referred to as a syringe extruder. Um, and I'll explain more about what that is later. Actually, I forgot to grab a part of this. Give me a moment. Um, I've grabbed the other parts. So, this is what's called a syringe extruder. Um, it obviously has a syringe. This is a 20 milliliter, um, syringe thing. The kind you would get, um, to give little kids, like, antibiotics and whatever. Because, for some reason, they don't like drinking from cups. Uh, um... These are technically disposable, but um, this one is brand new, So, it's, but I'll probably end up reusing it for this project because, well, you'll see why. Um, this one actually probably isn't going to get used for this project because I've been messing around and taking measurements with it. So I have a bunch more, and what, those will probably get reused um, because it's, they can probably be cleaned and it's probably fine. Um, it's not like they're going in anyone's mouth. They are going in this sleeve, which is made using this, which is a USB hand warmer. Um, though it will run off 12 volts and will draw a little over 2 amps at that thing. Um, so it's a 24 watt heater, which it gets quite warm. Um, but I will be plugging it into a 3D printer control board, which that's another little bit of a clue for you there. Um, if uh, you haven't figured it out already, I don't know if I already said this is a 3D printer thing. But um, this is an upgrade for a 3D printer. Or Upgrade. It, it's a thing you can do to a 3D printer. Um, so this will get plugged into the 3D printer controller board, and I will shove a thermistor in here somewhere. Um, probably. Ah, so that was the camera um, falling off its tripod. Um, anyways, where was I? Um, I, was, I was talking about how this plugs into the 3D printer, and this will have a thermistor, and this is the heater cartridge. Um, which means this syringe extruder does have a heater, which not all of them do, and it's not completely necessary. This is a mechanical syringe extruder, um, not a pneumatic one. So it has these linear rods, um, which will be connected to, 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 to an assembly that will allow them to push down on this using the extruder motor. Um, there are some pneumatic ones that use a pump. Um, to force air into a syringe-like cartridge to force the material out. Um, and, you know, that should give you a rough idea of what they do. They force material out. So in this case, I built, I'm built. i building this one with the goal of being able to print in chocolate and um, gummy candy. Um, gummy candy might be a little bit harder because it has a much higher melting point, so it'll be harder to cool. Um... I, uh, because I obviously have to have it cool before it's, you know, otherwise there'll be lots of, um, bad artifacts while you print. Um, and the quality on this isn't going to be great, because if you look at the nozzle size on this, but it's a little bit more of a novelty. It's something cool you can do with, um, almost any 3D printer. Um, and I will probably be trying to sell kits of these, um, because I think they're pretty cool. Um, and... I'll probably sell pre-assembled um, heater cartridges, which are made from these. Um, they'll have a thermistor. They'll have the legs pre-tinned, um, ready to insert. Um, so it'll include a pre-made um, heater cartridge. Um, it'll include a syringe, um, a technically disposable syringe, so I guess don't reuse it too much. Um, especially because you're heating it, so the plastic will eventually disintegrate. Um, and you don't want plastic leaching into your, um, chocolate. But, 
Um, if you're just going to print, you can also print in like ceramics with these. If you're just going to print in ceramics, don't worry about reusing these at all. Um, but if you're going to use it with foods, I would um, replace it every so often. Um, so we have that. And then it would include um, linear rods. These are 8 millimeter linear rods, um, pre-cut to length with linear bearings, and there will be two of them. Um, so, you know, these will be cut to length, and then there will also be included um, a threaded rod, an M8 threaded rod, um, a, um, I guess it would be a nut, uh, like, yeah, a nut for that. Um, and I can offer the 3D printed parts, but uh, I'm assuming if you buy, if you're buying this, you already have a 3D printer. Um, but yeah, every if you if you buy the kit, um, it's a small mark off markup, and everything's already cut to length and well measured. Um, and I've sourced all the parts, um, so you don't have to go about sourcing them. Of course, you can also just build it yourself if you know how to. Um, and you will probably, it's, it's not that hard to build yourself, so there's no real reason to buy the kit unless you don't want. I mean, these are decently hard to cut, um, these linear rods. So if you don't have the gear for that, um, or something. But I, I figured it's an option. If no one buys it, then there's no real harm. Um because I already have most of the parts. I had to buy everything in bulk, pretty much. Um, so I have enough to make, like, a few more of them. Um, and if they do sell, I can buy some more stuff. I, I, ha I think I have enough to make, like, three of them right now. Um, if you count all the stuff. But then I have enough bearings to make five of them. I have enough syringes to make five of them. Um, I have... A couple more of these. Um, yeah. So, that's this so far. Um, the 3D printer is printing the printed pieces, so I will show that um, in a bit. Um, I'll probably just wait to show those. Um, well, it's printing some of the printed pieces. There's a few of them. I'll probably just wait to show those. Um, when the um, threaded rod comes, but that this is what I've been working on, among other things. Um, I, I am working on several other things. Not all of them will turn into videos, but I'm hoping at least one of them will. Um, and yeah, that that's all. So, bye.